everything I got from Trader Joe's in New York City. This is a haul. Let's get into it. and this is Hi Black Girl, a channel where we live our lives at our highest potential physically, financially, emotionally, and every E in between. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And in today's video, we're going to, well, I guess I'm going to be sharing everything I got in Trader Joe's that typically lasts me about a week in New York. Disclaimer, I typically shop at the grocery list, so I spend around $50 at Trader Joe's, but this week I spent a little bit more. Let's get right into the video. Gonna light a candle to set the mood. Also because I'm just obsessed with candles and I love it when my house smells good. So I got some bread, some eggs. I love these eggs because one, they're brown and they're quite inexpensive. I pay like $3 for a dozen. A potato, I'm gonna throw that in there. Some avocados. Got three of them, I'm gonna throw, let's just say one, maybe two of them in there for now. I do like to eat my avocados. Some veggie broth, I do plan on making a vegan like chicken noodle soup this week. Three apples, probably throw those in there too. Ooh, and I got this Unami multi-purpose seasoning. I'm really excited about this because I've been trying to recreate the shroomy, shroomy sweet green bowl. And I think the seasoning is going to be exactly what my mushrooms need to make them taste ooh so good. Then I got these noodles because I want to make a chicken noodle soup, well, a fake chicken chicken noodle soup, and I thought these would be a great addition to that. Some celery chicken noodle soup, once again. I got this coconut beverage. I've been drinking these instead of the coconut milks. One, because it's lighter. Two, because it's cheaper. And three, I don't think I have a really good third reason, but I really like these. My friend is like, well, it says coconut beverage, not coconut milk, and I'm like, you do probably have a point there, girl, but I'm not really sure what the difference is. If you know the difference between their coconut milk and this coconut beverage, please let me know. So I got this vegan Caesar dressing. This is my absolute favorite dressing. And like, I don't even really care that it's vegan. It's just like an added bonus. It's so good. Like I prefer this to like non-vegan Caesar dressing. Like it's just amazing. Got an onion, I'll put that in there too, just so I can make some onions and potatoes. Um, and then I got this corn. This corn is so sweet. It tastes so good. I um, put it in a chili that I made a couple of weeks ago and I was like, whoo! It like just made the chili like sweet and spicy. It's delicious. Super, super obsessed. It's cilantro dressing because one, I completely forgot about it, but two, I was out of my vegan Caesar dressing for so long that I like couldn't eat any salads. I tried making a dressing with like some vegan mayo and olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic that I had in my fridge and it was, um, I would not make that again. So I wanted to get a dressing that has preservatives and like was bigger and that I could just keep in my fridge for whenever I run out of this. So I think that's it for this bag. Now to get into this bag. So I got some spinach. I always get the spinach, so good. It's spinach, you don't really say much else. But then I also got arugula, and I typically don't get arugula, but because it's getting fall time and I had a really good sweet green salad, guys, I am like so heavenly influenced by sweet green when they change everything for fall. So I ended up getting this wild arugula just to make some salads with it and like some warm bowls. I got some brioche buns because I was out of buns and I like to have my brioche buns as opposed to regular buns when I treat myself like a veggie burger. Um, I typically just freeze these and just use them as needed because I don't go through these like that quickly. Bananas! The banana jo- the <laughs> banana joes, oh my gosh. The bananas at Trader Joe's are literally like 19 cents per banana. So I always get a a good chunk of bananas. I like to put these in my smoothies. I got some mushrooms as well. I'm gonna use that. I don't know where my seasoning went. 
I'm gonna season them with this and like salt and pepper and I, I think that's gonna give me that sweet green flavor. So we'll see how this works, but I'm really excited to try this. And I'm planning on just doing like mushrooms, arugula, spinach, quinoa, wild rice, and like just making a little warm bowl with like avocados and like some tofu, but getting ahead of myself, let's keep going. Tomatoes, because I like to make little open-faced toast for breakfast. I got some wild rice. I have never made wild rice before, so please pray for me, but I got these taco seasoning mix because I like to put them in my black bean quesadillas with like corn and black beans and the taco seasoning mix and cheese. And that'll be a nice like easy lunch that I can have at home. These are my favorite high protein veggie burgers. Honestly, these are so good. I like to put a little like teriyaki sauce on them or just some type of seasoning, but honestly they're good just the way they are. Um, I'm obsessed. They do get a bit crumbly if you overcook them, but Super good, I really like them. And I'm trying to tone down and slim down a bit, so. <sighs> I love my body just as it is. But I've really been focusing on eating a lot more protein and I think that just helps with like muscle formation. Then I just got some sprouted tofu. I have some of this in the fridge already, but I wanted to get more. And tofu, like this doesn't expire until December 13th. It's October now, so it just has a really long shelf life. So I like to just grab some tofu anytime I'm there. And I love this one because it comes like separated. So you can just like rip it in half, leave one in there, and it's a really good like serving size if you are a single adult woman like me. Poor guy. If you're single and you're not cooking for a lot of people, it's nice for that. Broccoli, I've just been craving broccoli, um, so I got broccoli. <laughs> cheese, uh, I didn't say it was vegan, guys. I love me some cheese, and the cheese at Trader Joe's is just so good. So I mentioned those quesadillas, cheese, black beans, maybe some spinach, we'll see. But yeah, I got some cheese, literally just for that reason. I got these semi-sweet chocolate chunks. I've never tried them before, but they were cheaper than the 72% dark cocoa chocolate chips and the semi-sweet chocolate chips that I usually get. So I wanted to check these out. Um, I mean, it's chocolate, so I feel like my cookies will taste good with or without them, but over the weekend, I tried to make chocolate chip cookies. I had chocolate chips and I had walnuts, so I was really excited, but then I realized I was out of chocolate chips. So I had to get some more so I can make some cookies again. But right now, I made a shit ton of sucker noodles. <laughs> so I have to get through those. Carrots, um, because I want to make that chicken noodle soup, guys. So we'll see how that goes. I think I'll probably just use the, um, the tofu for like the chicken. So I'll probably like fry it, season it, and like make it like chickeny flavor. And then use the carrots, the celery, and the chicken broth for the soup. Wish me luck. I've never made chicken noodle soup before, so I hope it turns out good. And I just got some peaches. I typically don't put peaches in my smoothies, but I have been putting peach yogurt in my smoothies, and I like how that tastes. So I thought I would get some real peaches and see how that works. I usually do my smoothies with banana, now peaches, pineapple, mango, and a bit of spinach. Or sometimes I'm just gonna if I don't want to, but I'll also add like protein powder and collagen. But yeah, I thought this would be really good to try out with my smoothies. And I'm trying to do like more adventurous smoothies too. Like I feel like I always have the same smoothies over and over again. So it'll be good to try out the peaches. Last thing, just some smoked salmon. I love the smoked salmon. It's really good and super affordable. But yeah, so got some smoked salmon. I love this because I like to make a little breakfast toast with it and it's nice. I can like keep this in my fridge for so long and then like when I'm out of like my regular breakfast foods then I'll just do these toasts and this is like my favorite thing to eat anyway. So I'm like it's nice when you're like running out of groceries but you have like a little end of groceries treat in your fridge. That is it. So all in all, I spent $77.19 at Trader Joe's and this food will probably last for the week. I still need to go to 
whole foods. I need to pick up like coffee and I like to get like my shrimp and salmon from whole foods as well. I think it's just better quality from there. Um, but basically this is typically what I get and what I eat and this will last me about a week in New York City. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions or if you even like these videos. I just figured I needed to film today. Who doesn't like Trader Joe's and who doesn't like Trader Joe's in New York City? So let me know if you guys are interested in these videos and leave a comment below. Is there anything else I need to say?